Good morning, this is the Woodshoot Mountain Wilderness. We're looking southwest across the Prescott Valley at Granite Mountain and the Bradshaw Mountains. And I'm going to break here to talk a little anime. Hoshizora Kiseki. Hoshizora Kiseki is a short 2006 sci-fi one-shot anime originally made for the web but later distributed on DVD. Kozue is a high school girl and an avid member of the school's astronomy club. When she was a little girl, she saw a small meteorite fall near her home. She's been an avid stargazer ever since then, and she still wears a small, thin piece of that object on her bracelet like an oversized charm. Lately, she's had a strange feeling she knows where and when another meteorite is going to fall, as if a voice had told her. So, she organizes a summer field trip for the school's astronomy club to go watch it. But, what with the length of the trip, and the improbability of meteorite actually falling when and where, she says, plus summer school and part-time jobs, all her friends opt out. Kozue decides to make the trip on her own, a combination of bicycling and hitchhiking across the Japanese countryside with her telescope on her back. She's still on her way there when she spots a boy in the window of a large passing truck and feels some strange connection to him. Only a little later, Kozue is camping in the woods, watching the stars in her telescope, and playing with some fireflies when she has another strange encounter. It's the same boy, whose name will be eventually revealed as Ginga. He's wearing a weird spacesuit getup now that he's outside the truck. There's an echo of the movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind lurking here. Kozue feels drawn to both this impending meteor shower and to that boy. She has an almost infectious yet low-key joy about her and everything she does. But there are others who want her gone and away from there, away from the boy, and away from the coming meteor shower. Never trust dark suits who wear sunglasses at night. The 25-minute OVA tells the story about how this particular close encounter plays out for Kazoe and the boy in the spacesuit. It's not a story of action or excitement. It's mostly a quiet and mysterious tale, depending more on a sense of wonder and an emotional connection rather than plot. Hoshizora Kiseki is based on an original story by Toshikazu Matsubara, who also is listed as co-writer, co-director, and storyboard artist. It's a small direct-to-web production. The storytelling is often erratic, sometimes unnecessarily complex. It begins with Kose already traveling and fills in the story of the trip's planning and several flashbacks along the way that are in no particular chronological order and often seem to disrupt the time flow of the main storyline and could even make it seem as if there's more than one such trip involved. About a third of the way through, Kazooie's sister catches up with her by car to join her at some relatives in the area overnight. It's not clear to me what the purpose of that short evening conversation is or the introduction of the sister character. Sometimes the scenes appear almost randomly arranged. Despite that uncertain direction, the anime does manage to exude a pleasant sincerity to its main characters. There are some nice, quiet conversations between Kozoe and Ginga that create a simple, well-grounded charm and establish some honest emotional sympathies. The animation is quite impressive for such a small creative staff, apparently just a two-man team. The art designs, character art, and background art are all conventional for a modern anime. The animation is as economically fluid as that's all that's necessary to tell a non-action story. There's nothing new in style or technique here, just solid illustration. The music is simple and melodic, yet strikes the right note for this light story that's generally positive and optimistic. I give Hoshizora Kiseki three and a half stars. Despite an occasionally confusing narrative, it has a nice, gentle, and well-meaning feel to it. It doesn't quite manage to achieve the emotional bridge it aspires to, however. It hasn't had a U.S. release, despite some rumors to that last year. 
The Region 2 DVD includes the 25-minute anime and an interview with creator Toshikazu Matsubara. Thanks for watching.